Tron, how's it going? Going, going good. And yourself? Pretty good. Um, you know, obviously the the last couple of weeks have been you know tough for you guys. The program dealing with whether you're going to play, whether you're not going to play, and then you know some members of the team uh, dealing with COVID. How, how tough was it to you know just get in the zone for this game and you know sort everything out and, and be ready to come to play today? I mean, it's a tough uh, situation that we're dealing with um, worldwide. Um, some of our players not being able to play um, the game they love. So it was a um, tough, but at the end of the day, it's the um, next man up. That's a uh, mentality that everybody have to have um, worldwide. So um, it was it was tough not having them, those guys, but at the end of the day, we had to um, come out here and play foot, come out here and play football. We'll go to Lila. Hey, Antoine. Um, you know, with having guys like Tarheep still and Nick Cross out, um, you know, even with having those guys out, you guys, especially in the first half, were really able to stop. Um, Indiana's past game just what did you think of um you know how your guys' unit was able to you know step up despite those losses um Tarhe still and Nick Cross um both of them guys are um uh wonderful uh football players and it was just um hard not having them but at the end of the day um the Corian Bennett went to nickel and played great football and Deontay Banks and Kenny Bennett um stood their ground on the outside but it, um our coach always taught coach Baker and coach Hoke um taught us uh, this whole week we just have to stay focused and clued in on on the routes they're going to do and the concepts they're going to do and um we was clued in today and play um great football secondary Thank you. we'll go to alex stacy hey antoine thanks for doing this um i know this is probably the first game you've had this season where you've had a pretty significant amount of playing time you know how'd you feel out there um i know it's obviously been a few weeks since you've had game action but uh, how are you feeling out there uh, you know, getting more significant playing time today? Um, it's a blessing um, being out there and playing the game I love. Um, last year I had to sit out due to ACL. Now um, this game um, stepped up and played um, more snaps. But um, just being out there with my teammates was um, was wonderful. Just being out there and um, contributing to and helping them uh, play great football and just um, helping them with the assignments and them helping me also. Go to Emily. Hey, Antoine. Um, what, what was the, the biggest focus when it came to limiting what Michael Penix was able to do in the past game? What were you guys focusing on there? I mean, he's a, he's a great uh, quarterback. Um, but the whole week was um, to take away the shots. Um, the game before that, they had a lot of uh, explosive plays against O State. So that was our key in the secondary. Just take away all the shots and let them and make them run. Just make them run the ball, and we have to stop the run. Um, taking away all the uh, route concepts they love, which is the deep routes, the over routes. Just playing football in the secondary and being clued in. We'll go to Ed Lee. Antoine, for much of the first half and a decent part of the second half as a defense, you guys kept uh, the team in, in the game. But in the, did you get a sense that maybe as a unit, you guys got tired because you were out there so often when the offense couldn't get much production and get, keep the ball? Um, yeah, the first uh, half was uh, we played terrific uh, football and also like um, the third quarter. Um, and then, like you say, uh, the offense um, put us in um, situations. But at the end of the day, that's our job. Um, we we defense. So if it if you do um, like today um, had a turnover, we had to go out there and um, stop them. But um, like you said, it was a lot of football that we played out there. But at the end of the day, who wouldn't love to uh, be on the field? Jacob Steinberg. Hey, Antoine, after all the success that you guys had in the first half defensively, what was the message that Coach Loxley and the defensive staff gave you guys at halftime? Just just keep going. Um, don't change up nine. Just keep um, keying your keys um, and playing football in general. Because uh, like you um, seen today, the first half, we eliminated a lot of plays. And in the second half, they really – they didn't have many. It was just uh, certain uh, situations where they did uh, convert some uh, explosive plays. But uh, Coach Lossley, uh word was just keep playing football. Um, defense get takeaways, um, which we didn't have today, but um, we still um, working on that.